Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Summer in Mara. Last time we left off, we found out from the lady up in the lighthouse that we need to ask Caleb to improve our hoe because she does not believe we were actually the granddaughter of Yaya, which would make sense because we look nothing like her. Also, this place is open now? I've already read the five letters, nothing important. Those crabs were really lost. I told you. Fortunately, a few years ago, I made it possible for my shop to work as a post office. Keep looking for the lost mail crabs, just in case there's something important. I'll give you some good quality fishing line in return. Whoa, so I... I have read five? I guess I did. So I gotta bring some sunflowers to you. I gotta talk to you for a new mission. And I gotta talk to Caleb. So let's talk to you. Apparently you have a new mission for us. I don't know why you were... In here? Koa, how are you doing on our island, Kalis? Man, it's nice around here. Let's keep it that way then. Kalis was created thousands of years ago. When Ku was young and there was not even ocean, Kalis emerged from the earth and rose up to the sky. When Ku saw that, she was astonished. It was a dead wasteland. It's a long story. This is going to take a while. There's no need, really. Anyways, what I mean is that if you see trash or you fish it up, throw it in the bins. They're all over the island. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yes. Caleb came up with it. You see, we were in Molma, a huge city to the south of here. It has these huge buildings and it's full of stressed people. But it was really dirty. But he told me that he couldn't live in a place like that. And you can imagine what happened when we came back to... Oh, I think it skipped the dialogue there. I may have hid, held down A too long. Can you imagine what happened when we came back to Qualys? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Bring some trash and I'll show you how the bins work. I already have some. I got this. Very good. Well done. I've been wondering what that trash is going to be used for this whole time. I'll throw it in and... The system works! It's the only way to get rid of the trash that people have in a clean way. That's awesome. You can have your own recycling bin at home. For a fair price. How fair? Really fair. Buy it at the shop and install it at your house. Well, alright. You got a new structure. Bin. I'm surprised at your fishing abilities. You remind me of a younger version of me. Inexperienced, but with a lot of potential. I once caught this huge, gleaming orange fish. It was gorgeous. We returned it to the sea. Caleb was feeling sorry for it. I was afraid of it, to be honest. I hope whatever it is, it remembers us. Where, Wherever it is, it remembers us. Maybe it'll keep growing, and one day when it tries to devour the island, it will spare our lives. That would be very nice of it. <laughs> uh huh, sure. Yeah, jeez. What a dark way to take that. Man, I hope that fish we, we fished up the other day, I hope it doesn't grow into some kind of leviathan and devour the island, but if it does do that, I hope it spares me. Uh huh, sure. And you're telling me this because... Alright. With my help, you'll be able to get some really useful fishing gear, if you're interested. And what do you want in return? I need some silver ingots. Oh. I'm preparing a series of silver-plated souvenirs of Mara. Very beautiful. Tourists will love them. Which tourists? Those who will come. Alright, so... It appears to be all we have there. We can buy a couple of things here. The garbage bin is expensive. Boat model, water, prawns. Popper fish, crayons. We got a singing fish. I think I want to buy the diving goggles. Those just allow me to dive in the water? Huh. How do those work? Let's check our inventory and see if it gives any further explanation about that. Diving goggles are needed to dive in Mara where the water is salty. So it must be special spots. Those are the only places I can dive. Hey, Caleb, I need your help. Uh-huh. I've heard that you have a little vegetable garden and that you're very good at taking care of it. Perhaps you could give me a new hoe, as mine is quite old now. No. Well, okay then. But I can teach you how to build one. That would be awesome. Let's make a trade. I need some lettuce and carrots. I could go buy them, but I'd rather... Don't you trust the supplies from the market? No. Take the seeds. Alright, well, I already have all of that. Here, you have the carrots and the lettuce. 
A good batch for a good man. You talk too much. My grandma used to say that I'm an extrovert. <laughs> you mean extrovert. I don't think so. Thanks for the vegetables. I'll prepare the shipment. Metal hoe. Hey, okay, so we got that now, so... Now we can go home and improve our hoe. I also need to plant some sunflowers, so yeah, we should definitely go back to the island. And kind of follow up on a couple of these things. Seems like a good call to me. It is. It gives me a little bit of anxiety that uh, Napopo just kind of sits on the helm like that. Excuse me, was that a manta ray? I just went past. It looked like one. Yeah, it gives me anxiety that Napopo just sits on the, like, crest of our ship like that. It makes me feel like they're gonna fall. Like, this thing's, you know, jumping around wildly. You think they would just fly right off. Alright, here we are, back home. I have arrived. Leave the boat. And boom. Alright. So yeah, I bought those diving goggles, but I still don't know what they're used for. Who knows? Can I talk to you? There you go, I fed you something. Do you love me now? I hope you do. Alright, so we have a couple of things we need to plant here. Sunflowers for one. And a few other seeds, which is perfect because now we can go ahead and harvest you. I wonder if you don't water the plants every day, if they just take slightly longer to grow, or if they just die. Hmm, what do we want to plant? Oh, so these have to be planted here. Okay, well. There you go, sunflowers. Alright. And yeah, the potatoes will be finished tomorrow. I guess I should go ahead and water everything. The well is dry. Damn. Alright, so... I wonder what we need to actually bring some silver ingots and Anza. Alright, so we can't do either of those things right now. But the metal hoe, we need more wood. Let me just go ahead and chop you down. Luckily we don't need a lot, so uh, it should just take two trees to get this finished. I kind of thought we would just plant the... Um, Sunflowers anywhere. I didn't think we'd actually have to plant them in a tilled field. But, uh, whatever. Ooh, blackberry. Gimme. Never know when I might need some more of those. Alright, so, better hoe. Yes. Cool. And I automatically have that now, right? Like, my old one's just gone, I imagine. I don't see a list of all oh, those are materials. Um, catalog? Tools. Okay, I'm just gonna assume my other hoe is gone and now we have the superior one. Hi, seagulls. See you hanging out up there. There's also a flower um, by the lighthouse that it said I needed a better hoe before I could get. So I'm curious if I'll be able to grab that now too, that I uh, have this. Alright, so where would that flower be? That kind of looks like them over there? Yeah. Let's just grab these. Huh. Do they only grow here? I mean, it's, it's sort of dark saying this, but at least she's fertilizing her favorite plant? <laughs> like, that, that's, that's mean to say, but I mean... Given how she was all about kind of giving back to the world and everything, she might actually have liked the idea of that. You know, she's giving back to the island now that she's gone. We still don't know what happened to her. I hope it was nothing bad. I hope it was just like old age or something. Okay, so we have the hoe. We can bring that to you. And the rest of our stuff has to grow, and we can't mine silver yet. So, back to the island. You still charge me? Yeah, you charge me now. It's weird, he didn't charge me before, but randomly he was just like, 
All right, no, now, now I'm going to charge you. You have to pay for these things, damn it. I don't know what was different before. Phew. All right. Well, we're definitely getting along in the quest lines. It feels like I said. I think I see on the I saw on the Steam page that it was like 130 quests or something like that in this game. So if that's the case, we've already finished quite a few. Not to say the game's going to be short by any means, but it definitely feels like we're making our way. And can I make the jump? Oh, not if I don't. There we go. <laughs> I can't make the jump if I don't actually jump. And yeah, I am interested to see if I can get that other flower up there. Also interested to see how much these flowers sell for. Because I'm curious how much of this game is actually going to be about, like, resource grinding to get money, uh, a la Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley and stuff. Or if it is just going to be, like, those things are kind of going to be a side thing. And I'm not really going to need to grind that much. It's mostly just going to be, like, a quest-oriented game. I'm not really sure. There's definitely some items I've seen in the shops that look crazy expensive that I will absolutely need to... ...just grind up a bunch of money to obtain. Can I grab you? I can! What are those? They look like... Tulips? Almost? Or something? Uh, I need to eat. I need some better food. I should make that when I get home. Just better food. <laughs> is this the flower you wanted? Um. Oh yes, this is one of Haku's flowers. You see? I am her granddaughter. I don't know if you really are her granddaughter, but you knew her for sure. What can I do for you, little one? Let's see. I've never left my island before. I want to explore all of Mara. And you'll need a map. It's been a long time since I drew one, but I can try. Please, I want to explore every corner of the ocean. You have the same adventurous spirit as Haku. No, Yaya didn't let me travel. You were young, and she took care of you. I'll need some paper and ink to make the map. I don't have enough here. There's an antiques expert over there in the Grand Marble Mansion. Maybe he could help us. I'll talk to him. The Yaya flower. Whoa, this guy looks cool. Jeez. What's with this sick badass all of a sudden? <laughs> Let's go ahead and bust this up. Like I said, I kind of just want to keep a pretty steady supply of each uh, resource in my inventory just in case, because you never know when it's going to come up. Oh yeah, I wonder if my apple trees have grown. Hmm. Because, yeah, there's some apples here. Yeah, I hope it's... I hope they've grown. I planted them a bit ago, so it would make sense if they've grown now. Oh, this place is actually open now, too. Alright. I'm gonna jack all your flowers, man. I hope you didn't want these things. Ooh, who's the statue of the badass... right here? With the saber. Any, uh, other things hiding around in your yard? Maybe something chilling out back here? No? Okay, just- just wanted to be sure, you know, you never know, uh... Maybe you can find a treasure chest in somebody's backyard or something. God always gotta make sure. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> it's me, Koa! I know no Koa. I am Aquila of elite nobility. Aquila? I'm, I'm gonna go with Aquila. I am Aquila, of elite nobility. Mm. Who sent you? Saimi, the lady of the lighthouse. She needs some paper. Perfect, you've come to the right person. But everything comes with a price, little creature. Do you have enough money? So, mm. by... 38... 100? Excuse me? Is he serious? Hello, Koa. Hello. How's the diary going? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. According to my diary, the man in the mansion is a shady fellow. Be careful. Yeah, sure. The thing is, I need paper and it's very expensive. I will help you. Really? Of course. I'm your mentor, remember? A good adventurer should know how to make their own paper. 
Wow, and will you tell me how? Hmm. You'll need to plant this tree and get its resin. Then you'll just have to follow the recipe. It's been in my diary for years now. Does it say how to make the ink? No. Oh boy. But I know who can help you with that. Who? Who? Edigan, the banker. Oh, what a bore. I don't get on well with that fellow. Understandable. But you'll be able to win him over for sure. Great. First I'll make the paper. I'll get the ink afterward. Well, I already have the resin I need because I've cut down so many trees. So how about we just go talk to Edigan right now? And see if he'll give us the next step that we need, and then we can just finish all of this in one fell swoop. I want to get another backpack too. I mean, my turtle one's cool and all, but I like to mix it up. Uh, oh, those are just ATMs. It's closed. Only opens between 9 and 15. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can recycle. There you go. You like that? I think it liked that. Cool, cool. I'm glad I uh, made it today, or whatever. Alright, I'm going to try to get back to the boat so we can just take a nap. And then we can go back to the banker once it's uh, better. I'm right here, no! Oh well, I almost made it back to the boat. Okay, well we're right here. You don't get as much energy back if you kind of like get exhausted like that and it teleports you. I think if you just like full on sleep, you get like half your meter restored. Alrighty. Kid, get out. You're scaring the customers. What? Kid, get out. What? Make paper. Advance the. Oh, I have to do that first. Apparently, Caleb has another mission for me, though. So let's go follow up with Caleb, I suppose. And then we can go back, check on our plants, and, um... Make that paper. Because, uh, evidently we need to do that before we can actually talk to the banker guy. I thought we could maybe grab his quest and then go back, but no. I imagine you'd get ink from octopuses, but maybe I'm just thinking about this too literally. Hmm. Koa, I need a boat model. What's that? A tiny boat. My passion. Aqui- uh, what, did, what did I call it? Aquila? Aquila. Aquila, the elite that lives in the mansion. He has some. Can you get me one? Of course, I can ask him. Ask Aquila. Yeah, that's what it- that's what- that's what I named him, yeah. Or that's how I pronounced his name, I didn't actually name the guy. <laughs> Alright, so back to base, and then we can check on our... crops? And I imagine at some point we're probably going to get the ability to just kind of explore some other places on the map. Because right now we just kind of just go back and forth between home and Qualis. But that might change. And I'd be down for it changing. I want to explore some new areas. Although it doesn't even feel like we can do everything on our little island yet. So it's definitely not like the game is running out of content or anything. I do kind of want to work on building up my island, too. Oh, my apple trees have grown. Look at that. Give me that. Yeah. I think I might actually make some food, too. We could use some real-ass food. Uh, go ahead and give me the potatoes. Thank you, thank you. And do we have anything else to plant? see, we don't have a lot of onions. I'm gonna plant some of those, just in case we need them down the line. And let's plant some lettuce. These are the ones that Caleb gave us, I do believe. And we still don't have any water. Yeah, I just need to make another well. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I... You know what? Fine, let's go to sleep. Because that'll just advance my plants growing by a day anyway, and it'll completely... Oh, it does completely refill your thing. Okay, that's good. Your energy. Wait, what did I... Yeah, paper. Yeah, we just need two resin, which I have a lot of. Now I have the paper. Now I have to talk to Edigan. I don't feel like it, but the bank is the only place to think wells. 
All right, so I can just make my own paper instead of buying it off of that jerk. It's charging way too much for it. What does this require? Eight boards, three nails, two metal. Okay, well, eight boards is quite a lot of grinding, so, uh... I don't think we'll be doing that right now, but I will keep that in mind. I do want to make some food, like I mentioned, though, and it seems like we have a lot of oranges around here. So I think I'm going to grab a bunch of the fruit around here and make myself some actual good food. We might even be able to sell it for some pretty good cash. So, I collected a bunch of fruit and everything, so let's see what we can actually make. Can make two orange juices. It's still weird to me that this requires carrots. And we can make two things of blackberry juice. If I had some carrots, I could make the yummy fish, but we cannot. Alright, so that's all we needed, I believe. We gotta ask Aquila about those. Bring sunflowers, silver, and yeah, now we just gotta go get ink. So we can go take care of that now. And yeah, I'm definitely just not sleeping as much as I should, I believe is the problem here. I think sleeping on the boat maybe only refunds your, uh, like, exhaustion meter to half, basically. But if you sleep in your actual house, it gives you back a lot more. Which is definitely an important little detail that we gotta keep in mind. I should have taken that opportunity while I was collecting fruit and stuff to also mine some, er, mine, chop some wood. Is what I meant to say. You don't mine trees. This isn't Minecraft. All right. So yeah, now we just have to go to, what is his name? Edelgard? Wait, no, Edel Edelgard is the, the chick from Fire Emblem, isn't it? <laughs> Am I getting these names mixed up that badly? I'm a fool. Just ram my ship into the uh, dock. I'm sure nobody minds. Especially not my ship. Alright, though. So this should be pretty simple. Oh, yeah. Don't you like fish? Mm -hmm. um, you sell sunflower seeds. and Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Silkworms. Do I have anything that you like? You like the bass. Yeah, I'll sell you a bass. Why not? I don't- I can't really think of any recipes where fish are important right now, so I don't really have much of a use for them besides just selling them for money. So why not? Um... Mr. Edigan? Oh, yeah, no. No, Edigan, not Edelgard. <laughs> How can it be that the poorest person on the island always comes to me? Am I poor? According to my calculations, you are. I need ink to make a map. Manners. Please, Mr. Edigan, could you please give me some ink to make a map? Please? No. But I used my manners. Yes, well, I am not going to give you things for free. An equivalent exchange, everybody knows it. I don't think exchange works like that. Look, do something for me and I will give you the ink, okay? Yes. I need you to speak with the ladies in the market. They owe me money from some commissions. Nothing you would understand. Just ask them for my money, that's all. Couldn't you go, Mr. Edigan? I... Um... I'm very busy. You know. I guess so. Yeah, everybody's scared of these women because they're, uh... Apparently scary? I mean, she did tell me to go away, young child, if you're not going to buy anything. Which one's the one I can actually you? Hello, excuse me. Hello, kid. What do you want? Mr. Edigan told me you owe him money. What a coward. Sending a child to do his shady business. Tell him we don't have his money. If he wants it, then he must come himself. He brings shame to all of the Quidos. Well, what should I do? Look, we sell and buy. Bring us a little bit of everything. The more thorough, the better. I'm sure you'll be able to pay our debts with the things you sell us. But... 
Collect the money, return to the bank, and pay the debt of the women in the market. Wow. Oh. You're gonna make me pay off your debt? How rude. I don't even think I have enough stuff to actually sell. I definitely don't have a lot of very expensive things, that's for damn sure. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I need to find somebody that likes... Ooh, yeah, the old lady in the lighthouse. She likes shells. Maybe if I sell, like, all of my shells to her, I'll be able to get the, the money required. I can't believe all these people are ripping me off like this, man. Like, a ten-year-old walks up just wants some ink from you. You're gonna be like, no, go handle my debt. And then you get to the ladies and they're like, no, pay our debt. <laughs> like, screw all of you people. All right? This is not how you treat a child with no parents. Yes, you like shells. Cool. Take my shells. Yeah, this is quite a bit of money. Clam shells are not worth as much. You also like yaya -ya flowers, so I can hook you up with that. And I guess I can sell those too. The only problem is that's not quite enough money. I need just a wee bit more. Hmm. Blue orchids? Sure. No, that's enough, right? Yeah, we have exactly enough. Cool, so, and we do actually collect the money, return to the bank, and pay, yeah. So now we just gotta go back to Edigan, now that we've gotten that stuff. Which should be over here, the jerk. I haven't seen any more beehives to get larva from. I'm not sure what the spawn rate is on those. Like, how often do they actually sparm, uh, sparm, spawn so that I can harvest them? Sparm. What is wrong with you, brain and mouth? Mm. Ah, damn it. Oh, right, okay, well, I guess we're gonna go for a nap. We could take a walk on the beach, I suppose? Although, yeah, I don't think there's any shells down here. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Maybe scrounge up a little bit of cash. You don't have anything new for me, do you? Mm? Nope. And, yeah, there's not really anything else too terribly interesting down here. Oh, there's trash. Well, got the opportunity to clean some of that up. An entire bag and it turns into the icon of an apple core. Nope, I cleaned up way more trash than that. Alright. Don't you just try and act like I just picked up one apple core off the ground. I still need to find out what this place is, too. Oh, cool, there's more trash. Really? Who dropped trash this close to the recycling bin? What What is with you lazy people? It's right there. Just come on. Have the basic... Quidoian or human decency to just take the trash to the trash can when it's right there. Alright, let's jump and jump. And then let's take a nap in our boat. So time passes. Yep. And then we can go get this ink, and then we can go make ourselves a map. Not sure what that'll get us. Well, no, I know what that'll get us. It'll, it'll get us a map so we can explore, but... I'm not sure where we're supposed to go with said map. Like, are there gonna be locations marked on it that are of interest to us, or... How, how's that gonna work? I'm not, I'm not exactly following there. Or maybe we can just fill it in ourselves? I, I don't know. <laughs> Little one, do you have my money? Um, yes, but it's not from the women. How? Do you have it or not? Yes, but it's my money. Then, if I give it to you, will you give me the ink? Did he receive the payment from the women? They didn't want to give it to me. They say you were a shameful and a coward. That might be true, but that doesn't mean they don't owe me money. Are you okay with my money? I guess it'll work. But be careful with those women. But they're very nice. They just ripped you off, Koa. They just said you pay off our debt. And you had to do it. <laughs> they are not very nice. Compared to the others. What do you mean? I have stuff to do. Okay, so you're talking about compared to him. I mean, I guess they might be nice compared to him. 
he is kind of an asshat, it seems. Alright, so now we just go back up there. And we can be like, hey, we did the thing. Are you happy that we did the thing? Can I have map now, please? Jump. Yeah, we need to get you some, uh, like, Sonic shoes, uh, Koa, because you're just running all over the place all the time. Or maybe a steed. What, what kind of steed would you want? Unicorn? A uh, phoenix? A phoenix would be cool. A minotaur? I don't know, I'm kind of just spitballing here. Hmm. Or just a simple horse. Oh, you have everything already. It wasn't easy. Sorry for the inconvenience, child. I dare not talk to the people of the city. Why? Sometimes Quidos are afraid, although their fear makes little sense. Fear stops us from doing the things we like most. There are days in which just getting out of bed is a victory. It's okay. I'm sure Sunday we'll look for seashells together. I would like that. So can you draw me the map? Mm -hmm. Of course! But I will need some time to finish it. Could you do me a favor in the meantime? Of course! There's a somewhat naughty cat child working at the island restaurant. She's called My Mayo. Or Mayo? I'm gonna go with Mayo. She won't stop prank calling me. If you could do something about it, leave it to me. I'll show her. Koa? Remember your good manners, please. Yes. <laughs> please and thank you. Okay, so we have a new quest. We gotta go deal with her. Oh, she's adorable! Look at how adorable she is. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna follow up on that one next time, because this recording looks like it's uh, hit about 30 minutes now, so... Ooh, three oranges. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Summer in Mara, and I will see you next time.